This is Charlie Kao with Travel Mall TV at Focus Right in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona with Tristan Mays. He's the uh, CEO and co-founder uh, of a company called Want Me, Get Me. Uh, that's a great name. Thank you. Tell us what does it do? Yeah, so Want Me, Get Me is a new hotel booking site that lets consumers upgrade themselves as VIPs at top boutique and luxury hotels all around the world and you pay the same standard rates. So, it's sort of like the name of the company, hotel, if you want me, get me with it's, perks. It's exactly what we thought of with the name. So it's you as a consumer saying to the hotel, if you want me, come and compete for me. Try to entice me uh, with various perks. You know, price has, has been the final determinant for most individuals when they're booking. And we think that it should actually be price and perks coupled together that drive the best value. And now, finally, you can be able to pick and determine which stay based on that full value and that uh, you have a better informed booking decision. And the, the, what kind of perks are generally available? Yeah, so uh, we've worked closely with hotels. We guarantee three specific things. So they're automat all of our members are automatically on the general manager's VIP list. They receive free Wi-Fi and a room upgrade whenever available. And then from there, you can actually curate your stay using our perk engine. And this enables you to filter hotels and see exactly which hotels can uh, accommodate other uh, perks that you want to personalize your trip with. So this may be breakfast for two or cocktails for two, uh, a late checkout, uh, and, and things along those nature that for most of us we find a great value uh, and that and they, and they often change too, depending on what type of trip you're taking or where you're taking, uh, but things that are nice to see in an aggregate view of what hotels can accommodate. How many hotel members do you have now? Uh, we have more than 200 hotels uh, that we have contractual uh, sorry, obligations with, uh, and we're expecting to have more than 2,200 hotels on the platform. You launched when? We launched in a public beta at the beginning of October of this year. Okay, so uh, that's why 200, mm -hmm. and, uh, which is a fair number to start. They're in the U.S., I presume? Uh, most? most of them are in the U.S., uh, but we have some groups, Orient Express, Park Hyatt, obviously a lot of those have international properties as well, so we're bringing the, those on, uh, but we'll really turn our attention into the international sector in the coming months, Q1, Q2 of 2013. Obviously, consumers can go to your website and uh, uh, take advantage of this uh, program. Is there a B2B aspect to this where the travel trade can take advantage of it? Uh, we're not so much looking in that direction right now of so much where the, uh, so we've built a proprietary extranet which actually houses all of these perks if you will where the hotels can turn them off. Uh, right now we haven't looked at that B2B channel of, of enabling access to it. I think it's something that we would definitely consider and kind of opening up that perk engine if you will. Uh, but we also, it, it's for consumers both leisure travel and in business. We look at it where a lot of people who do uh, particip participate in business travel, who want to be upgraded, who want a great experience, uh, can just book with us with no hassle. I presume it's free for the consumer and, and your revenues come from the member hotels. Exactly. So it's entirely free for members and actually for hotels to participate. It is a curated selection, so we specifically pick them. But it's, there's no uh, subscription fee for the hotels to participate, and we take a flat, transparent commission of 10%. Uh, and that enables higher margins for the hotels and that ultimately allows them to pass on those perks and benefits to our members. This time next year, uh, what's your target number of hotel members? Uh, I think we'll be probably somewhere around 1,400 is where, where we'll, we'll look to be at. Uh, and then slowly start scaling beyond that. Uh, so our year two projections by the end of it, 1450, I think is the actual number. And for uh, registered users from consumers, what would be your target for a year from now? Yeah, I don't think we've explored so much in that direction. It's more of the, the number of bookings, right, that are actually coming from it. Uh, I think we've kind of uh, internally projected out to be in the hundreds of thousands of kind of what that looks like. Of bookings. Of bookings um, coming through. And, and we're really focused on the retention rates, right? So it's about getting a consumer once to understand what a unique value proposition and how we provide a better value with each booking and then translating that into ensuring that they do use this in the future. So 
Uh, we actually talk directly with the consumers. Uh, we talk with the hotels to let them know that you're staying at the property. Uh, so in that regard, it's a very personalized experience to ensure that every one of our members has, has a great experience. Of the 1,400 hotels a year from now, uh, what percentage might they be overseas? Um, I would say Outside Probably. of U.S., you yeah. should say that for our international audience. Uh, so, for the U.S., I would I would say it's probably majority in the U.S. Uh, my guess is probably uh, majority, and then slowly as we start to go up to the 2,200 that we've project projected, it'll turn more internationally. Obviously, would there be uh, you have a sense of what that might be in terms of urban city versus resort type? Yeah, I, I'd say predominantly it's going to be city hotels. Uh, we're specifically focused by the nature of kind of this curated selection of the four and five stars. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of those happen to be in larger international cities. Uh, so we'll find that, but we do have a few properties uh, that, that are uh, not in a major domestic or major city uh, that's frequently traveled. It's more of a resort type of, uh, of location. And so we'll have some of those as well. Tristan Mays, co-founder of Want Me, Get Me. Thank you very much. Thank you.